The only course of action that appears to be encouraged in schools is to obtain a 9 to 5 job, save money, work until you're 65, or ultimately retire when you're too old to enjoy it. The term retirement should be changed to freedom because that is what it truly means once you have enough money to quit working. You have complete freedom to do as you like every day without the fear of missing out on anything. On that note, today we will be talking about retiring in 7 years when starting with no money. And it would be absolutely great if you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. It's completely free and you may change your mind at any time. That way you'll be the first to know when we share new money making ideas. So it's a win-win situation. Without further ado, let's get started. The focus of phase 1 is on your freedom figure. You must achieve this goal if you want to fully manage your life. Even if you have nothing saved up in the bank, you should be aware of this. It's similar to competing in a running race while wearing blindfolds if you don't know your freedom figure. Since you can't see where you're going, you risk using all of your energy to make the wrong turn, trip, or even fall on your face. There are three different kinds of people in the world. The three Ds are often referred to as doers, dreamers, and drifters. Let's begin with the drifters. They have no financial goals and live from paycheck to paycheck. Dreamers do have financial objectives, but they don't have any strategies for achieving them. Doers, on the other hand, won't just sit around daydreaming. They'll get working since they have financial goals, and more significantly, a strategy for achieving them. Your freedom figure enters the picture at this point. Your initial retirement plan success depends greatly on how you approach money. It all depends on taking the right mentality. Prioritizing wealth accumulation over cash flow is crucial. This is because creating wealth entails investing your money in rising value assets, whereas cash flow increases the amount of money that enters your pocket. This would sound nice, but it might also cause several issues, such as lifestyle inflation and exorbitant taxes. Cash flow is essential, but it becomes even more essential as you get older and start to relax. Knowing that all of your money is in your account and available anytime you need it can give you a false sense of security. However, you frequently don't need as much money as you might believe. Building the foundation is phase two. Similar to building a house, you must have a strong foundation to prevent your home from collapsing at the first hint of an earthquake. Millennials are now living paycheck to paycheck, which is unfortunate since it means they are constructing their life on a shaky foundation much like building a house on quicksand. This is ridiculous, but this is even more unbelievable. With an annual income of over $100,000, 40% of Americans still struggle to make ends meet. This merely serves to emphasize how crucial setting the foundation is. And while it could appear easy, many people are struggling with this stage. In the early 20s, there are four stages to take into account. Paying off debt with a high interest rate is the first stage. Because of the hefty interest, it is essential to pay this off before you even think about investing your money. To be clear, it is crucial to recognize the distinction between good and bad debt. Any low interest debt that generates income is good debt. A mortgage on a rental property or low interest financing on a laptop to start an online business are two examples. High interest debt that doesn't generate any income is considered bad debt. For instance, buying clothes with a credit card that lets you pay it off later, or even with a standard bank loan. We need to pay off all this debt as quickly as we can. Setting aside emergency savings is stage two. Your foundation depends on this. Because if you begin investing without having an emergency fund, you may discover a few months later that you are in trouble with an unforeseen expense and lack the funds to cover it. To cover the cost, you will then need to sell your investments, which means you would lose out on any possible gains. Establishing a strong credit score is the third stage. A credit score resembles a resume in certain ways. It follows you about in life, updated frequently, and aids lenders in determining if you are a deserving borrower. If you ever need a loan, it's extremely critical to have a decent credit score. You never know when you're going to need money. For instance, to purchase your dream house. Starting out is so simple. Acquiring a credit card is all you have to do as soon as you reach 18 years of age. Start adding a few minor expenses, like gas, and make sure to pay this baby off completely at the end of the month. 
In this manner, you avoid paying interest and demonstrate to lenders your dependability as a borrower. Maximizing your tax liability is the fourth stage. Each dollar you earn entails hidden expenses. Taxes, on the other hand, can be the most painful and expensive burden of all. The good news is that tax-efficient accounts can boost your savings while reducing the amount of tax you have to pay. If you started a retirement account, you could save money that wasn't subject to taxes. This is referred to as a SIPP in the UK and a 401k in the USA. Of course, you will have to pay tax on this eventually, but since you'll be earning less as you become older and will be in a lower tax rate, you should have a significant amount of money. You can open a different account to save money from taxes. However, in the future, you wouldn't be required to pay tax on your capital gains. Or to put it another way, all of the income that the money created. In the US, this is known as a Roth IRA, while in the UK, it is known as an ISA. These accounts should be created by everyone as soon as possible. Oh, and before we proceed, we would love to hear your personal experiences in your pursuit of financial freedom. Feel free to share in the comment section below. Once you're done, let's continue. Therefore, it's time to start expanding once you've established strong foundations. The third stage involves creating several income streams. Even if the stock market crashes, you lose your job, or your side business fails, your other sources of income will still allow you to live a comfortable life. Frequently, this will turn out to be something you are enthusiastic about. We occasionally tend to focus on what will bring in the most money, but sustainability is vital when trying to accumulate long-term wealth. You can launch a variety of side businesses. The major lesson to be learned from this is that you will get paid more if you are viewed as having a higher social value. To maximize your income, which may then be put towards investments to help you achieve your ultimate objective of a luxurious retirement, it's crucial to go above and beyond and deliver the most value you can. The fourth stage comprises generating passive income. Once you've got your side jobs and income under control, it's time to begin researching passive income sources. Because side hustle income is temporary, you need passive income streams so your money can grow even while you're sleeping. The wealthy continue to amass wealth for this reason. In this stage, you should focus more on growing your cash than on pursuing larger profits. This is why you should emphasize the value of persistent long-term investing time and time again. The ultimate goal is to be relaxing on the beach with a great drink, free from any financial concerns. No income is really passive. Every source of money demands intermittent work. Instead of selling your time, the goal is to make your money work for you. Trading time for money has its limitations because there are only so many jobs you can undertake in a given week. Especially in today's environment, Investing in the stock market is perhaps the simplest. On investment applications, everything is done. On the other hand, real estate is a little more difficult to enter. Leverage can only truly be unlocked once you have enough money saved up for a deposit on a rental property. Because you can find a tenant to rent the property, which should cover the mortgage, or because you can expect that the property will improve in value, you're essentially having someone else pay for your mortgage. If you don't take the initiative and build a lucrative side business, it will be difficult to implement this step-by-step -step plan. With a 9-to-5 job, it's still feasible, but unless you have well-paying and secure work, it might not be in 7 years. A 9-to-5 job is not the least bit bad. The vast majority of people only require a side business to get their wealth building underway. Just a word of caution for you too. Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying to you. This won't be simple. For a few years, you'll need to put in a lot of effort if you want to enjoy lifelong freedom. After all, if it were simple, everybody would do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something meaningful from this video. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Until next time, see ya!